bombshell. Oprah pimped me like a whore to him. This is sick. The American left has gone mad. As we continue to see left-wing loons call for Oprah Winfrey to run against President Donald Trump in 2020, an aspiring actress says Harvey Weinstein used Oprah Winfrey and Naomi Campbell to dupe her into thinking he would help her with her career. But all he did was use her as a sex toy. British actress Katie Ann Noble said last month that she was head over heels impressed when she first met the pervert Harvey Weinstein at an event in London because he was hanging out with supermodel Campbell and had the mega media star Oprah swinging off his arm. Your Newswire reports. After meeting Weinstein for the first time in London, Noble brought along her show reel to his hotel room when she met up with him again in Cannes in February 2014. During their second meeting, Noble alleges Weinstein used promises of career advancement to lure Noble to his hotel room, where he forced himself on her. Instead of watching Noble's reel, Weinstein allegedly began to touch her whilst discussing getting her connected with a modeling agency in London. The indecency ended in the bathroom where Weinstein allegedly made Noble perform sex acts in front of the mirror. Noble blames Weinstein for destroying her acting dreams and notes that he failed to help with her career as he had promised. Via the Daily Wire Here are some of Oprah's top fails. 5. Golden Globe Awards Speech Hollywood and the mainstream media promoted Oprah as brave following her speech at the 75th Golden Globe Awards, but, as Shapiro pointed out, what the hell kind of risk was she taking? Shapiro told Fox News' Martha McCallum, she was standing in front of an entire town filled with sexual abusers and harassers. She said nothing about it for 20 years, she was being cheered by people who said nothing about it for 20 years, and there she is pretending that she's leading the fight. Oprah did not lead the fight against the culture of sexual misconduct in Hollywood, and she cannot use the excuse of I was afraid of what it might do to my career because she is one of the biggest people in media, she has little to fear. Shapiro continued, Well, I was under the impression that most of us agreed with that stuff when this stuff first broke and she lauded the Hollywood Foreign Press Association. Where were they reporting on the sexual harassment and abuse scandal for the last 20 years? It was literally their job to cover Hollywood and yet it took the New Yorker and Ronan Farrow to uncover all this stuff. Where was the Hollywood Press Association that was receiving such plaudits at the hands of Oprah Winfrey, again, a woman who was good friends with Harvey Weinstein, being cheered by Meryl Streep, a woman who gave a standing ovation to Roman Polanski? 4. Oprah suggests Americans are racist, even if they do not have ill will toward black people. In a 2013 interview with CNN's Anderson Cooper, Oprah Winfrey, and Forrest Whitaker, stars in The Butler, strongly hinted that Americans were racist, even if they did not have any ill will toward the black community. Winfrey said, people don't feel it's race because people don't call it race, a lot of people think if they think they're not using the n-word themselves, they physically aren't using the n-word themselves, and do not harbor ill will towards black people that it's not racist. But to me, it's ridiculous to look at that case and not to think that race was involved. 3. Oprah gives platform to an Islamic scholar who says Islamic Jihad is only a spiritual battle, not a holy war. Varun Soni, the Dean of Religious Life at the University of Southern California, appeared on Winfrey's Belief series where she explained that all of the horrifying acts of violence committed in the name of Islam were all just a great big misunderstanding of a core Islamic belief. One of the most misunderstood concepts of Islam is Jihad which many people interpret as a holy war, Sony said. But there is nothing holy about war. What jihad actually represents is an internal struggle, the battle that is raging in our own heart. And all of our religious traditions talk about that internal struggle. In that respect, jihad is not just a Muslim idea but it's a reality of the human condition. Denying that holy war with infidels is a key teaching of Islam is disingenuous. In the Quran, Muhammad speaks of jihad, or holy war, repeatedly. Though the concept of greater jihad, internal spiritual battle against sin, has been a part of Islamic teaching since at least the 11th century, the word jihad is most often used in canonical writings to refer to armed conflict. 2. 
Oprah makes absolutely not true racism allegations against a store clerk in Europe. Winfrey, the most powerful woman in the world, accused a clerk at a small store in Europe of being racist towards her but refused to offer any identifying information of the alleged incident. Eventually, the store and the clerk were discovered and they said Winfrey was a liar. This is not true. This is absurd. I would never say something like that to a customer. Really, never. Good manners and politeness are the alpha and the omega in this business, the woman told Sontag's Blick. It is absolutely not true that I declined to show her the bag on racist grounds. I even asked her if she wanted to look at the bag, the woman said. I didn't hurt anyone. I don't know why someone as great as her must cannibalize me on TV, if it had all taken place as she claimed, why has she not complained the next day at the wedding of Tina Turner with Trudy Gitz, my boss? She was there also at the Turner wedding as a guest. I don't understand it, I spoke to Oprah Winfrey in English. My English is okay but not excellent, unfortunately, I didn't know who she was when she came into the store. That wouldn't have made any difference if I had. Winfrey tried to get out of the incident, which could have ruined that poor girl's life, by giving a bogus apology in which she did not actually apologize for her actions, but apologized for the story getting blown up, for which she, of course, was responsible. 1. Oprah says older generations just have to die to solve the problem of racism. In a 2013 interview with the BBC, Winfrey said that entire generations just have to die to cure the problem of racism. After Winfrey told the BBC's Will Gompertz that she thought that racism has gotten better, Gompertz asked Winfrey if she thought the problem was solved. Winfrey responded, Of course problem is not solved. You know, as long as people can be judged by the color of their skin, problems not solved. As long as there are people who still, there's the whole generation, I say this, you know, I said this, you know, for apartheid South Africa, I said this for my own, you know, community in the South, there are still generations of people, older people, who were born and bred and marinated in it, in that prejudice and racism, and they just have to die. Noble thought, obviously, this man has something amazing in store for me, she said during a teary-eyed press conference in Manhattan to discuss the sex trafficking lawsuit she filed a day earlier against Weinstein in Manhattan federal court. Instead, Weinstein used promises of career advancement, fortune and fame to lure the actress to his hotel room in Cannes, France, where he forced himself on her. She said. I felt completely played, she said. Reports are pointing to the terrifying fact that Oprah and Campbell both told her Weinstein could jumpstart her career, although all us common folk now know that this man's predatory behavior was the best kept secret in Hollywood for decades. If true then what Oprah did was pimp out this poor woman to Weinstein. She is as sick as Weinstein, if not worse since she claims to have been the victim of sexual abuse herself as a child. This woman should be nowhere near the White House or the office of the president. Giving away cars to your audience members and constantly gaining and losing weight isn't a qualification to run a nation. Please share if you think this sexual predator enabler should be in prison instead of in the White House. House.